What's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another synthetic wig review. This wig is brought to you by me and Saw Life because she inspired me to purchase this wig. I watched her review. She had this wig in the exact same color. I guess I should probably tell you what wig this is. This wig is Sherilyn and it is by Outre and the color that I have is 3CR Irish Coffee. And wow. I first saw this wig on a wig site, I'm not sure which one, and I was so surprised when I saw that they offered it in the reverse ombre color because I saw Miss Rosh Posh, I believe that's her name, here on YouTube. She dyed her own 613 bundles in a reverse ombre style because she was inspired by Arrogant Tay, I'm pretty sure. I will, if I mess up anybody's name, I will leave them down below. Saw Life said it right in her video, but yeah. Basically, I have been wanting to try a reverse ombre ever since I saw her do it because I was like, she looked bomb. Like, she always looks bomb. I love watching her videos. As soon as I finished Shannon's review, I went to a wig site and I ordered it and here we are because I just knew I had to have it. I know I've seen a couple other reviews on this wig in different colors. I believe Kyra Sean did one and I saw another one I can't remember, but I've watched a few, but I try not to watch too many before I actually purchase a wig. However, I really didn't even want to like review this wig in its entirety. I just wanted to try it on for the color. I know, it's crazy, but y'all ever purchase a wig just cause the color came in? Am I the only one? I have no idea, maybe, who knows? But I'm impressed. If you guys are not familiar with a traditional ombre hairstyle, the darker color is at the root and then it fades into a lighter color. So this is why this is called a reverse ombre because it starts out at the 613 and it nicely transitions into a 1B. Now here's where I think that they kind of like had a misstep in the execution. The, the transition isn't as smooth as I would like and I don't love this color right here because in some parts, like I guess it just depends on the lighting, it almost looks green. Like I love this brown color that they have in the front. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like a really pretty coffee-like brown, you know what I'm saying? Irish coffee, what's up? I love that color. I wish that that was more predominant in the transition, but again, I ain't mad at this wig. I am really feeling myself. I tried to be very subtle with the makeup so we could just give the hair her moment and I mean like let's just give her a moment. Okay. I just... <laughs> Alright. Let me calm down, gather my thoughts, and give you guys an actual review on this wig. So let's start off with the cap construction. It is already set as a middle part. You do get a good amount of parting space. I mean, what is that, like six inches? Damn. You do get lace from ear to ear. It is pre-plucked, and it does have a nice gradual hairline right here along, you know, the, like, forefront. <laughs> Um, and I was impressed with that. It does come with a lot of baby hairs. And as you guys saw, I just like brushed them back. And then I used my hot comb to mold them into the hair. I ended up cutting off just a little bit around the hairline right here in the front. But um, that was mainly because of the color of the lace and I just couldn't get it to blend. So speaking on the lace color, it is a brown lace. It is darker than my complexion. For my dark skin girls out there, you're going to love it because you're not going to have to do too much to blend this lace down. But for me, because I am kind of like a medium skin tone, you know, <laughs> um, I did have to do a little bit of work, but I'm not mad at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's whatever. I'm not gonna be pressed. I am sweating. Like, it is hot in here. I'm filming a little bit later than usual because I was just excited and it's overcast out. So I have like a lot of light going on and I usually don't film with this much light and girl it's hot as far as shedding and tangling goes tangling you do get a little bit of stiffness it's yeah it tangles <laughs> you're gonna have a little bit of stiffness towards the ends shedding however is a different story baby this sheds okay it sheds it's a consistent shed and y'all know how I feel 
like here we go I just pulled out about I don't know eight hairs something like that this is just a look for me I honestly just wanted to try it on I'm gonna try to take some dope pictures you know so I can post up on the gram follow me if you are not because you about to see me all up and down your timeline okay I think the style is super cute I like the bouncy loose curl and it's a nice length on me it comes right at my chest so I'm gonna say it's probably about 18 20 inches long I'm not mad at it as far as the texture goes with this unit it is definitely more so on the silkier side it doesn't feel like doll hair it just feels like a synthetic wig I do wish that they added a little bit more layering right around the face just so that it frames the face a little bit better but as far as my overall opinion I don't think that this wig is a must-have unless you are like a color junkie like myself and you just want to have a little bit of variety and you want to try different things you know test it out try it out you might like it I don't think that it is a must buy so don't run out and buy this wig you know what I'm saying if you are not compelled to purchase it like I was <laughs> if you guys have any questions or comments leave them down below if you guys decide to purchase this wig I will leave a link where you can do so down in the description box I'm just gonna leave the Google link so you guys can figure out where you want to purchase it from I will leave the price and everything down there as well if you guys decide to get it in this color and you take a picture please tag me on Instagram because I really want to see all y'all try out this color because I'm obsessed so yeah that's it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you have not already and I will see you guys in my next video